a parade of antique and classic cars were the first to drive through the long-awaited Devil's Slide Tunnel on the California coast, south of San Francisco. Three, two, one. The tunnel's grand opening ceremony, March 25, 2013, follows decades of environmental battles and five years of construction. I want to acknowledge all of the workers, the Caltrans workers, the contractors that built this. Job well done, all American workers. I want to pay tribute to the engineers and their ingenuity. This is about my fifth one. Don um, Dobson, project manager for Contractor Kiewit Pacific, says it's the, the first end. tunnel project actually, she's seen to completion. So it is a pretty big deal to see the actual final product and not just take off after the excavation is complete. Construction began with a bid opening in Sacramento in November 2006. Kiewit Pacific submitted the lowest of two bids and secured the contract. Their A portion is $272,366,000. They bid 1,500 working days times $16,900 per day for a B factor of $25,350,000 for a total A plus B of $297,000,000. $716,000. I know the target date is 2010. Please, please make that date for me. The tunnel groundbreaking ceremony came a year later in front of the prepared cliff face that would become the South Portals. At the time, Caltrans estimated the tunnel would open in late 2010, but ground conditions and progress proved more challenging than expected. There were areas that had, um, you know, significantly more water than we were anticipating. Um, normally we just did the dewatering at the face. We did put in some wells on the north side, that being the uh, most decomposed ground and with the most expected water, which did make a significant difference. Kiewit excavated the twin tunnels, each 30 feet wide, 22 feet high, and 4,200 feet long, plus the 10 emergency cross passages, using the new Austrian tunneling method, and with sections of drill and blast. To push progress, excavation and installation of the final lining progress concurrently. It worked out very, very well, especially considering that the excavation did take longer, so it was good to have that jump start on the final lining operations. The final lining consists of a drained waterproofing system followed by 350 millimeter cast in place concrete lining with two layers of rebar reinforcement. Caltrans selected HNTB to perform the final design of the tunnel that runs beneath San Pedro Mountain and along the active San Andreas Fault. It also crosses four inactive faults and through ten different rock masses. A joint venture of URS and the Dr. Sao Group held the tunnel construction inspection contract. In all, about 420,000 cubic yards or 21,000 truckloads of rock and dirt were excavated. The $430 million project is the first row tunnel constructed by the state of California in 50 years and bypasses a narrow cliffside stretch of US Highway 1 plagued by rock slides, land slippage, and lengthy row closures. Two 1,000-foot bridges at the north end of the tunnel span a valley to connect to the original Highway 1. It takes vision. Uh, and, and it is great to be able to actually see the, the end product of that. So we're very proud today. The twin tunnel, now open to motorists, will finally tame the demons of this scenic stretch of Highway 1. In Northern California, Paula Wallace for TunnelTalk.com.